Hi guys, welcome to Xperia Tips. I'm Dom, and this is a second video in a three-part series looking at Sony's triple image sensing on the brand new Xperia XZ. Today, we're gonna to be looking at low light performance. So, last time we looked at the first sensor in this whole cluster of awesomeness, uh, the Exmor RS sensor, which is responsible for, among other things, Sony's amazing predictive hybrid autofocus. But now I'm gonna move on to sensor number two, which is laser autofocus. Now, this little bad boy here is responsible for taking fast and sharp pictures in the dark. You see, in poor lighting conditions, our eyes may struggle to find the edges of an object or perhaps judge distances, and digital cameras are very, very similar. But what Sony's laser autofocus sensor does is fire out a laser to help measure the distance between the camera and the subject that you're trying to photograph. Hi. Yeah. Uh, sorry. Just to... Sorry to interrupt. Uh, you know that the the laser that you see in here, it's not like... It's just for illustrative purposes only. I mean, you know, you won't actually see like a real laser mm, like pew pew coming out the, the back of the, the phone. Right. You, I mean, yeah, you you got that. Anyway, so let's put this to the test. I'm going to be putting the Xperia XZ up against Sony's previous flagship model, the Xperia Z5. So step one, set them both up side by side on tripods. Step two, switch off all the lights and create a low light environment. And step three, take some selfies. By the way, those flashes that you see there, they're just the self timer lights, nothing to do with the camera flash. How did we do? So, as you can see, the Xperia XZ camera benefits massively from having that laser autofocus on it. You get a sharper picture, less noise, and much better colours. And speaking of colour, don't forget to stay tuned for part three of this video series where we look at the dedicated colour sensor at the back there. To ensure that you don't miss that episode, click the subscribe button down below, but you can also like Xperia Tips on Facebook, follow on Instagram, and also on Twitter. And I will see you next time for some more Xperia Tips. Bye.